Some call the U.S. president the most powerful person in the world, and that is true to a point. The American president also needs money, just like everybody else, and one of the reasons President Joe Biden is not running for re-election is because of money. In today's English lesson, we are going to talk about one person who decided to stop giving money and forcing President Biden out of the race. Before we get into the English lesson, if you don't mind hitting that like button, it will help others find this English lesson. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please go ahead and subscribe so you never miss another English lesson. In today's English lesson, we are going to watch a news clip involving an actor named George Clooney. This man has a lot of money. He's been in Hollywood for many years. One of his first big acting jobs was on the TV show called ER. He's also been in the movie Ocean's Eleven, and he was nominated for an Oscar for his acting job in the movie Gravity. He is a big supporter of the Democratic Party, which is also the same party that Joe Biden belongs to. After Biden's horrible performance in the debate against former President Trump back in June, George Clooney was one of many people in Hollywood and around the country that said maybe President Biden shouldn't run again. And he said publicly that he would no longer donate money to his re-election campaign. In this clip, we'll see George Clooney saying nicer things about Joe Biden. And then we will come back and talk about some of the most difficult things that were said in the news clip. Praise for the president today, mega Democratic Party fundraiser George Clooney, who wrote a July New York Times op-ed calling for Biden to drop out of the race, speaking out about it for the first time. Praise. You heard them say praise in the news clip. What does that mean? To say good things about someone or something. Right now, I would like to give you some praise because you are watching this English lesson, trying to improve your English. And I would also like to thank you because there are so many good English teachers on YouTube and you chose me. Thanks so much. For each of these difficult terms, I will have a picture that I hope helps you understand what that word means and I will also have an example sentence. Right at the bottom, George Clooney praised President Biden for making smart decisions. And let's face it, that smart decision was dropping out of the presidential race. I do have an English lesson about President Biden dropping out. I will leave a link to it at the end of this lesson. Mega fundraiser. We are going to use this in two different ways. When you see mega in English, think like big. When you see fundraiser, think something about raising money or raising funds. Funds is another way to say money. Some politicians will have fundraisers. Maybe they are mega fundraisers, but they help pay for the campaign. The official definition, a very big event where people give money to support a cause or a person. Maybe a politician will host a fancy dinner, charge a lot of money for people to eat. That way they get more money for their campaign. George Clooney helped with a mega fundraiser to support President Biden's campaign. Yeah, the last time he did, back in 2020. This time, he said no. They didn't mention this in the news clip, but another very common type of fundraiser is a bake sale. Sometimes there are bake sales at my school to raise money for school clubs. Teachers and parents will get together. They will bake muffins, cookies, cakes, anything that they can sell to help raise money. But a mega fundraiser can also be a person who raises money. In that picture, you will see George Clooney. He is on the left. And in the middle is an actor named Leonardo DiCaprio. 
And all the way to the right is a woman named Oprah Winfrey. In a few days, I will have an English lesson about Oprah Winfrey interviewing Kamala Harris. Let's use mega fundraiser as a person in a sentence. George Clooney became a mega fundraiser for President Biden, helping to collect millions. Again, in 2020. Not this year. Remember, mega means big or large, but MAGA is different. Very different. It means make America great again. Maybe you have seen former President Trump wearing this hat, make America great again. You might hear that red hat called a MAGA hat. Republicans love MAGA hats. Democrats hate them. We have mentioned funds before there is a d in there i'm not sure if i pronounce it or any other native english speakers pronounce it but funds means money money that is collected or saved for a special purpose my wife jamie and i have a going out to eat fund i guess when it's singular we do pronounce the d Funds, it's hard to get that D in there. But yeah, our going out to eat fund is when we save money so we can go out to eat at a restaurant. Here is a sentence using funds. The funds raised at the event were to support President Biden's reelection until they weren't, until they pushed him out and Kamala Harris is now running for president. And she gets all of the money that was raised for President Biden. An op-ed. They mentioned that in the news report. What is an op-ed? An article in a newspaper where someone shares their opinion. Let's take a look at an example sentence that was big news right before President Biden dropped out of the race. George Clooney wrote an op-ed in a newspaper about why he thinks President Biden is too old to run for re-election. Praise for the president today, mega Democratic Party fundraiser George Clooney, who wrote a July New York Times op-ed calling for Biden to drop out of the race, speaking out about it for the first time. The person who should be applauded is the president who did the most selfless thing that everybody's done since George Washington. Speaking out. English phrasal verb. You got to love those, right? What does that mean when somebody is speaking out? That means when somebody publicly says what they think about something important. George Clooney was speaking out about his concerns that President Biden might be too old to run for president. That is just an example. In the news clip, you see George Clooney praising President Biden for dropping out of the race. Applauded. Applauded. What does that mean? It's a verb. To show approval or praise for someone's actions. I applaud you for sticking with this English lesson, for continuing to watch this English lesson. I hope your English is improving with every second you watch this video. Many people applauded George Clooney for supporting President Biden after he praised him. Here is a little bonus. The verb and the noun of the same word sound very different. Applauded is a verb, but applause is a noun. An actor can receive applause if they do a good job. Selfless. Selfless. Sometimes you will hear selfish, and that is when somebody only thinks of themselves. Selfless is the opposite. It's when someone cares more about helping others than themselves. Take a look at that picture. Those boys are collecting garbage. That is a very selfless act. Dumping garbage on the ground is a very selfish act. You don't care about the environment. You don't care about what others think. George Clooney said that President Biden's decisions are selfless because they help the country, not just himself. Just a, a small history lesson. George Clooney said that President Biden's decision not to run for president again was the most selfless act since George Washington. George Washington was our first president. 
He ran for two terms. He served a total of eight years as president. And then he decided, you know what? I don't want to be president anymore. Somebody else should be president. And before George Washington, that didn't happen often. When someone was in charge or the most powerful person in a country, they often did not want to give up that power, to be honest. George Washington never wanted to be president in the first place, so he was very happy to give up the power. I think he just wanted to sit on his farm and, and grow old, no longer be in public life. At the end of that news clip is another one about the vice presidential nominee, Tim Walls. He is running on the same ticket as Kamala Harris. Kamala Harris for president, Tim Walls for vice president. The person who should be applauded is the president who did the most selfless thing that anybody's done since George Washington. Today, Minnesota governor and Democratic VP nominee Tim Walls in a t-shirt and hat serving ice cream at the Minnesota State Fair. It's exciting. I think people are seeing that we're getting to talk about Minnesota across the country, talk about the economy here, talk about things like the State Fair, talk about agriculture. And it gives me a chance to introduce you to one of our 50 states called Minnesota, and we will also talk about fair season. That happens every year in the United States during the fall or autumn. A lot of states have a state fair. Let's read about what the Minnesota State Fair is like. And this is like almost every other state fair. The Minnesota State Fair is a big event every year. It's one of the largest fairs in the United States. People enjoy rides, games, and lots of food. There are contests for animals like cows and pigs, and people show their cooking and art skills. You can also learn about farming and see animals up close. The fair is a fun time for everyone. And just in case you don't know where Minnesota is, it is in the red, bordering Canada. Every year, Jamie and I will go to our state fair. It's not called the main state fair. It's named after a town instead. It's called the Freiburg Fair, and I do have an English lesson about it if you would like to check out and see what a fair looks like and learn a little English along the way. The news clip mentioned economy. In the news, you will see the economy mentioned often. So just in case you don't know what economy is, it means how money is made and used in a place. The U.S. state with the biggest economy is, any guesses? It's California. Here is a sentence using Tim Walls and economy. Tim Walls said the Minnesota State Fair helps the economy because it brings in a lot of money. Agriculture. Agriculture. This might be tough. What is agriculture? Farming. Like growing crops and raising animals. Crops is just another way to say like plants that people eat. Corn is a type of crop. I really like corn. People sense I, I was told that corn is real. It tasted good. Tim Walls said the fair is a great place to learn about agriculture because farmers show their animals and crops. I do hope you have enjoyed this English lesson. If you're looking for more English, right down there is that one about Biden dropping out. And over there is that one about the fair. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time.